and Jane Elliott's style soon hits a nerve with some of the white volunteers. What they learn today, they will either leave in this room or take out of them this room in a very positive way. But these people are people. You're assuming now, that they're what? racist. You're assuming they've got a lesson to be learned. You know, we could be racist. Oh, why, I'm sure you are. You? No, I'm, I'm sure every racist, person in why, every why person in this room. Let they, me. T I, you didn't. Un you didn't listen to me. You're assuming I've got a racist attitude just because they're blue eyes. If you That's live in, if you live in the UK, you're saying, you're saying that they've got more to learn. People in majority positions, powerful positions, the whites, for example, don't see there's a problem with racism. And it's a really fundamental problem. They just don't see there's an issue. And this is what we're getting here as well, is that the white people in this brown eye group are kind of saying, look, do we really need to do this? Is it really necessary? And she's trying to convince them, and the rest of the group are convincing them that it is necessary. I, I understand what you're doing. I'm just saying I don't understand why. I've spent the morning with these people, and none of them are racists. Just because my, my skin isn't black, I mean, I'm, I'm you probably noticed, a little bit tubby. I've been no. discriminated, yeah, I have. <laughs> I've been discriminated about, with that all my life. I still put up with it, so I face it. I go into shops and see a nice shirt, oh dear, they don't do my size. Oh well, I'll have to put up with it, won't I? You can use your, lose your tubby. Hmm? I can't, but you can't, you change, can't, your you can't change the color of your skin. Unfortunately, there's a small minority that will use the word racism they bandy it around when it's not. Correct. Let's use the word political correctness. It's, it's, You're not a use, allowed to use the word gollywog anymore. See, I don't like, it, I to don't me, like it's not offensive to you. Political I don't fuck bar bar black listen, shit. Listen What's that about? Political What's strange is that you've got the blue-eyed people actually sort of arguing that racism isn't a problem. Yeah, the blue-eyed people are defending the system. They're saying, you know, we all have to suffer. It's difficult for all of us. You know, the guy's saying, well, I can't get the right size shirts. You know, this kind of thing. And they're, they're not, still not recognizing the difference in the scale of what's being experienced by minority groups as opposed to what most uh, people in yeah. society are putting up with, which are minor inconveniences by comparison. So I'm sensing, do people really understand what is racism? The group of the blue eyes are white people. They're living in their world. So we're asking them to live in a world of what it's like to be black or Asian, which is quite difficult to do in two hours. So in their minds, it's like, well, racism doesn't exist because it doesn't exist to them. I'm not going with all this crack you're putting out, I'm sorry. That's up to you. When I came here, racism, oppression was wrong. When I leave here, I will still think that. In the blue-eyed group, the all-white volunteers are refusing to accept the exercise has anything to teach them. I wanted you, nice blue-eyed white people, to find out how it feels to be on the receiving end of that which we allow to be handed out to whole groups of people Every day, you don't live what she lives with. And you can't argue with somebody's experience. No, no, no. If you don't, if you don't see the other person's reality, then, and you don't face that reality, you're almost part of the problem because you don't see any reason for change. It change what? Change what? Her child learns something like this every time he walks down the goddamn street. Stop and search. And in the, uni in yeah, the United no, no, States of America. America. Any kids stop and search because there's a knife problem at You're the moment. You're eight times Any more child. likely to be stopped and searched as a black boy. But you keep saying statistics. I'm sorry. It's, it's, statistics that's how it is. It's so Everywhere, it is. Everywhere, all teenagers out of knives. It's a statistic it's show. The police will stop them and look for knives. It doesn't matter what eight times more is. likely to be well, stopped and searched. One of my favorite questions the local Bobby on You're not hearing me. I'm hearing you, but... You feel you're And now unique. you're getting defensive. You are not unique. You're not. You're still not. You're still not hearing the point. You're not I'm hearing totally the point. hearing the point. What I'd like to hear more is what you propose to do to actually change all this. Oh wait a minute. Let's get on oh, to that later. Oh, How are we going to change it? Oh, oh good, good, good. I'm so glad you asked that. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked that. I'm bored with this what, bit what now. I'm ready for a tea break. What you're doing? What you're doing is blaming the victim. What victim? What you're doing is blaming the victim. You're saying, you're saying to her, uh -huh. what are you going what to do to change this? Gonna do? She doesn't no, have the power I just said, to change what this. What are we? Us. No, you did not. Did. No, what I'm did sorry, she say? You weren't listening. What's actually going on here? This is a lot what happens in society, where people are just in so much denial that they feel, well, you sort it out, it's your problem, but it's actually all of our problem. I think the people who are actually learning a lot here is the people in the brown group, because they're learning about 
how impenetrable this is yeah. for white people, for majority of people, that they cannot get it, they cannot get this difference of perspective. It's really tough for them. They either don't want to accept there is discrimination, or they don't see the discrimination, or they don't understand what it is when they do see it. You know, you know, you know it, it goes completely over your head because it doesn't, it doesn't affect you. So because it doesn't affect you, it doesn't exist. And that's not the case. You've just not noticed. I don't think we are in denial. I think you want us desperately to be in denial. But most of us Stop. I have a daughter that lives, not with me, but she lives in a very middle class area. A very rural area. And she is the only non white in her school. I will not go and pick her up from school because of my belief of other parents' perceptions of my daughter because her father looks like I do. Now, you can frown as if to say, well, why, why, why? But the bottom line is, after 34 years of my life in this country, that's how I feel. Oh, that's so sad. It is so... It is... Yeah? I feel sad. Okay, now, now, yeah. now another reality of it, yeah. and ask any of my friends is I talk in terms of I play the game okay if you speak to me on the phone you will have you zero know. idea of what I look like you either conform mm -hmm. in which case you get an easy life or you fight against it and you'll end up criminalized outcast and removed from the situation. But Marvin, what you've said, I agree with, but it's not colour. You could be a skinhead and not want to pick your kid up from school. No, no, you no, can, no, but, you but, can but, be a cockney. So, so, the, 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 the skinhead can let his hair grow. That's right. I'm, I'm talking change. wholly and exclusively based on the colour of my skin. Nothing else. My ex-husband, for example, is in the sporting environment. He's taking on top quality customers, the RAF, people like that. But he conforms. He has to wear a business suit. He has to wear a tie. He has to speak beautifully. He has his short back and side hair cut. He looks immaculately groomed. He's actually a rugby player from way back. He's happy wearing sloppy old jumpers. Is he, white? he used to have his hair longer. Is he white? We have to conform as well. Is he white? That's not so, conforming. So, ta you're talking about conforming. He would about, conform I'm, I'm, I'm to pick up to, my daughter from her school. He would not turn up looking like a scruff bag with long hair, bad clothes. Bad breath, unwashed, bad shoes. Isn't that pride? No, no, no. It's exactly the same. You're talking about your school environment with your daughter, Isn't my school environment with my daughter. We all agree that it's not the same. They would it's both not the still. same. It's not the same. What? What? It is. Sorry. Yes, yes. Maybe yes. to a lesser yeah. degree. Let's agree. A let's, ag degree. Uh -oh. let's agree to disagree. the assumption that racism is only particular for people who are black and I don't actually agree with that I think there's racism for white people just as much I've been in a situation many times where I've had remarks made about my person the fact that I'm white that I'm blonde that I'm getting old or whatever um, I've come across just as much discrimination in my life as possibly many black people have What do you think this tells us then about discrimination in Britain? In Britain, you've got an establishment with power. And that establishment, the people who are part of it, the rules, the laws that we have, are things that people take for granted as being fair. But they privilege a certain set of people more than everybody else. So it's not that we have one particular racial group that everybody's racist against. It's that there are many minority groups, all of which are disadvantaged by this system of power. But you might walk away from this and say the white, the white people in the blue-eyed group are just in denial. I, I totally agree, because there's a sense of like, well, we're not racist, and racism doesn't happen. Because the discourse now is that people are feeling, whether you're black, white, Asian, everyone feels they're being discriminated against. But what people are failing to recognise is the issue of power. And this is what Jane is trying to present, but they're not actually quite getting that right now. One of the white volunteers doesn't think it's fair to label all whites as racist. Well, I'm getting drawn into something that I don't want to argue about because I don't want to see other people abused. 
but the thing you is, are saying that I just because aware. you are black, only black people experience racism. I grew up in a country full of people where there weren't any white people. I understand racism just like you understand racism. I don't have to be black to understand what it feels like to be a black person. You don't have to be white to. You can still empathise with people. In, when now. we first started, most of the people. Yeah. In the, in the, the, the blues, we're in complete denial. denial. And now? And then some shifted, and some Everyone, are still in the, and then some three. are still, some are like this. Yeah, some, some, some have gotten something. up and walked out because they refuse to walk in our shoes Which for means two hours. Which means being picked oh, on, it's being bullied. Like, being a different... You're closing yourself up. <laughs> oh, that's rubbish. That's absolutely rubbish. Nah. It just means it affects you. you I just want to have you a girl. <laughs> She wanted, she wanted people to understand what black people were going through, but she didn't want to understand what anybody else was going through. I, you know, I hate people putting other people down. It's wrong, and I don't like it. You know, it doesn't, it, it's not about being black or white to me, and I think it was a bigger issue. It wasn't just about, she made it too simple. She was separating us. There were black people and there were white people, and that was, as far as she concerned, that's all it was. Once you start thinking, oh, everybody's looking at me, I'm different. Everybody's, everybody's got it in now, are they? There's There's nearly as many of them as us, so they're yeah. not different. Yeah. Only, yeah. you know. But in my class, one third of my class are, are black children. Then I've got a bunch of half caste children. I've got one little girl who's stunningly beautiful. She fell over, scraped all her face. I admit I was slightly surprised that where she scraped all her face, it's all pink underneath. Right? Did I expect it to be black? I don't know. Jane Elliott brings her exercise to a close. After 10 hours of struggle, has the exercise revealed the reality of life in modern Britain? is still very different for white and black people. I'm 63 years old and I've seen England change so much. And, you know, for me it's so difficult because all of a sudden, you know, we've got this multiracial society. It wasn't there when I was a kid, when I was a teenager even. And my kids accept it. They're amazing. I'm the one that genuinely has a great difficulty with it, but I'm learning. And today I think I've learned so much. Thank you. For me, I didn't need to ever change my opinions. I walked in there as a person who feels very, very strongly about any form whatsoever of that kind of behaviour demonstrated by whether it's one of my friends, one of the children in my class, whatever. I've always felt passionately about that. So I didn't need converting. And to be treated as if I was this pariah who was out there was unacceptable anyway. So I wouldn't pay lip service to her. And my comments at the end were more how disappointed I was.